It's a war in the stars. Our story kicks off with the rebels getting blasted. The plans that hold the key to the victory are shoved into a couple droids and jettisoned into space. Now the bad guys don't like that, especially Darth Vader who's totally set on eradicating the rebels from the face of the universe. Now naturally, who's going to be in charge of cleaning up this mess? Well, a little bit of country boy, moisture farmer Luke Skywalker who's always dreamed of following after his pa's footsteps in the war. And his chance is now. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Luke receives that message from Princess Leia. Sadly, the responsibilities from home prevent- No! No! And Brew, no! Act 2 picks up with our friends passing through the Stormtroop Barricade into Moss Eisley, where we pick up some much-needed transportation means of a pair of rapscallions. Han and Chewie have no problem getting the gang to Alderaan, if by Alderaan you mean giant floating rocks, because everybody is dead. And things start to heat up now that we're actually trapped in the bad guy's base, just in time to rescue the princess and watch our mentor be killed by a high-speed glow stick. Which makes Luke a very sad boy before we enter Act 3. Thank goodness Luke has all that backcountry womp rat hunting under his belt, as we're reminded that the fate of the universe hinges on this battle. It's a good thing we have Ghost Dad on our side, because the new, improved Luke Skywalker is able to make the shot, sealing the Rebels' victory in the war. Proving once and for all, if you believe it, you can achieve it. 